Hey everyone, do you ever struggle to remember to set your alarm? And because you don't remember to do that, you wake up late and are tardy to school or even miss going to classes? So today is a really quick tip. I am Gretchen Wagner from the Anti-Boring Approach to Powerful Studying. I uh, coach students and I train educators and a common theme lately in my student coaching is I've had two clients in the last week who have had trouble remembering to set their alarm the night before and therefore missed a key class the next day. Um, in one case, uh, the student is actually really chronically late. He has 40 tardies <laughs> in his first period class. Um, some of those are because he sleeps in. Some of them are because his parents have a hard time getting out the door. So this is a family systems issue partially, but it's also an issue with his habits because he doesn't need to depend on his parents to get him to school necessarily. Um, the other student um, is a college student and he had a very important question to ask his professor today when I'm making this video, today in class. I was so excited, I sent him a check-in text before, or a reminder text beforehand and a check-in text afterwards. Oh, and the check-in um, text afterwards said, you know what, I got in a fight with a friend last night. I was really upset. I forgot to set my alarm. I didn't wake up. So, he missed class. He didn't ask his professor this important question. Uh, luckily, he followed up by email. He did get the answers he needed. Thank goodness we had a coaching session where we talked about the importance of email. That is for a different video. However, today, though, I drew this beautiful whiteboard picture <laughs> of this person sleeping on their bed with their legs hanging over their bed. There's, there's, if I could have drawn drool with my marker, I would have. But here's the simple solution, y'all. Set a recurring alarm. It's so simple. Never need to remember setting your alarm again because you know what time you need to wake up every morning, most likely. I know for college students, it's sometimes a little different. Like Tuesdays and Thursdays, you have to wake up earlier than Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But through the beauty of technology, whether it's your phone or whether it's Alexa or whatever, we can set recurring alarms. So the example here says 6.30 a.m. because uh, that is when my high school student needs to wake up and he needs it basically to be 6.30 Monday through Friday. That's what the M through F is there. So um, he set his Alexa it, during the session. He said, Alexa, set recurring alarm for Monday through Friday at 6.30 a.m. Voila. Alexa said it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Alexa is the Amazon voice something or other. I don't even, I don't use it. I only watch my clients use it. Um, but then it's also possible to set a recurring alarm on your phones. And so go into your alarm, check it out, see how you can do that Monday through Friday or Tuesday, Thursday, or whatever the days are. And never, ever forget again to set your alarm. It is that easy, actually. It's that easy. So give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know. Gretchen at GretchenWegner.com. And for more time management and organization tips like this one, you can find them all in my online course, The Anti-Boring Approach to Powerful Studying Because We All Bore Our Brains. <laughs> That's unfortunately what we're taught to do in schools, but we don't have to. And we can learn the tools to stop boring, the anti-boring approach tools. So feel free to check those out on my website, GretchenWegner.com, if you like. And otherwise, I'll see you next week with another tip from my client sessions. Bye, y'all.